What is Power Query? Well, it's an amazingly useful tool. It's built into Excel, it's foundational to Power BI, and it will save you so much time, it's unbelievable. I'll show you three examples to get you started. Let's go. Power Query I describe as the world's greatest data washing machine. It is an awesome tool built in to Excel and built into Power BI and actually built into several other products that can tidy up your data and make your life easier. It will save you time. That is what it does. So I'm going to give you three examples. Number one, just cleaning up data inside Excel. Then importing data from another file and rearranging it. And this is relevant whether you're using Excel or Power BI or one of the other tools that Power Query is built into. And finally, consolidating multiple files and then loading that data either into Excel or the data model in Power BI. It is amazing at automating all these processes. Okay, where do you find it? In Excel. It's been hidden for years in plain sight under the data tab. So data, get data from file. This is how you start with Power Query. In Power BI, there's a whole tab here, get data, transform data. Okay, same experience, pretty much identical in both files. Just the user interface to get started is slightly different. Example one. Let's do a simple Excel piece. I want to convert this list of email addresses into a nicely organized table with name and email address. This is how you get started, okay? Inside Excel, the data tab, and then from table slash range, or in newer versions of Excel, it's been rebranded as from sheet. So clicking on that, will actually turn your list into a little table. If you don't want that to happen, make sure it's a named cell before you click this button, okay? My table doesn't have headers. So there's no heading on here, so I'm gonna make sure that's not ticked. And then I'm clicking OK. This then opens up Power Query. So it is a brilliant tool with lots of great buttons for organizing, changing, extracting, reformatting your data in terms of if you've ever done a left or a right or a mid function in Excel or concatenate or use the ampersand, Power Query can automate all that. And the beauty of Power Query is tomorrow you click refresh and it runs all these little cleanup steps for you. So what do I want to do here? Well, I want to split this little list and let me zoom in here, split this list by the semicolon but I don't want to split it into separate columns. I want to actually split it into rows. So I'm going to go right click on the column name and here we will see split column by delimiter. I'll click that and then it'll give me some options. It's actually guessed at the full stop, but I want the semicolon at every occurrence and under advanced, I want to split it into rows. So every time it hits a semicolon, it's going to split it out so here we go, click OK. Beautiful. And I have now added a little step here, split column by delimiter. Okay, let me just call this the email. Right, then from here, I want to extract the first name and the surname. So you could actually split it again into columns. Right click, split column by delimiter. And this time I could split it at the at and split it across but I'm going to do it a fancier way. Right click, add column from examples, and I'm just going to type in the word Tess and press enter. And there we go. It's extracted it and it's capitalized the first letter. And you can see it says text before delimiter, text dot proper, and before the first full stop. Beautiful. Okay, so that's first name. And click OK. And then I want to extract the surname, so I'm going to do the same thing. Right click, add column from examples, 
There we go, it's worked it out again, and I'm going to call this last name and click OK. Then I'll just drag this column across, and again I've added a reordered step, and that is perfect. That is what I need. So I'm just going to change this to um, email table. Then I say close and load, close and load to, and it asks me where I want to load it. Well, I want to load this to a table in this worksheet, and I'll drop it just here and click OK. And there is my tidied up list, and here is my query. If I need to make a change, I can double click on this, and I go back into Power Query, and I can add steps, insert steps, do different things. But the real beauty of Power Query, not only is that pretty quick, tomorrow, if I get some new emails, so I'm just gonna replace that little list there. Okay, so I've got a new list in here. If I right click and refresh, there we go, it's fixed up. Ah, look, there's a little space at the name. So here we go. I'm going to go back into my query. There I can see a little space at the start. So I'm going to, at this point, right click and say transform and trim. Insert a step and it's trimmed it. And now at the end, it's all fixed. Close and load. And you'll notice that has now fixed it. Awesome. So just simple things, tidying up data, splitting columns apart, joining columns together. So many options, okay? Right, next example. Import and rearrange your data. So rather than grabbing some data from inside this file, I'm gonna go data, get data, and then there's all sorts of different places you can connect to. From workbooks, from text files, even from PDFs from databases. I've got lots of examples on the channel here about how to connect to different things and what you can do with Power Query. I'll put a little link to the playlist up here. Okay, let's simply do from file from a workbook. And I'll tap into this budget matrix file. This is the sheet I wanna tap into. The other sheets don't have anything in it. You could pick whichever one you want and right click transform this data. I'm back into the Power Query world. I am gonna use this first row as my heading. So I'm gonna click the nice button called use first row as headers. There we go. I am now going to get rid of this column and this column. So right click, remove those columns. You notice every time I click something, I'm adding a step here, and these steps are the process, self-documenting code. Awesome. Okay, you inherit this file of somebody, you can just look through the steps they did. Way easier than macros. If you stuff up, you just delete the step you did. Okay, perfect. Right, the magical bit here is that these are two beautiful columns of data. However, my dates are going across the page, which is not good for doing analysis. I want a nice column with my budget values in and a nice column with my dates in. Okay, having separate columns for every date is a real pain. Anybody who's built a pivot table like that in the past, know, or tried to build a pivot table off data like that in the past, knows it's a horrible experience. However, power query to the rescue. You right click, on these nice two columns that are perfectly laid out in column format. The other ones are the ones I wanna flip around and you simply say, unpivot other columns. Boom, awesome. So rather than 24 columns for every item, I've now got 24 rows. So my table has got much longer, but much narrower. And this is perfect for doing analysis. So I'm going to change this to date and I'll change this to budget. Okay. And this date actually becomes a date and this budget becomes a whole number. 
these two are actually text. So I'll go text on those, text on that one. Okay. And then I want this to be the end of the month. So right click, transform month, end of month. How good is that? Okay, if you're not loving Power Query now, then I don't know what to do to convince you. This is stuff is awesome. So here we go. We've got all that data. Close and load, close and load to. And again, I can load it into a table and we'll talk about the data model in the next example. But let's go table in this worksheet into that cell, click OK. And there we have it, all our data nicely organized. And if some data you know, gets updated in that source file or added to or the file is saved over, you simply come in here, right click, refresh, and all those steps we just did, they run sequentially. And this data gets updated in a split second. This is beautiful for doing a pivot table or some analysis like that now. Okay, last example, consolidating and loading data. So this example is perfect for um, the Power Pivot model in Excel or in Power BI. And I'll show you briefly the, the Power BI screen in a second, but let's just do this. I have got a folder full of CSV files. There is 500,000 records in each CSV file. So that's 5 million records. And I'm going to use Power Query to consolidate them all and load them into Excel. So all I'm going to do is grab this little folder path and copy that. Right, so in Excel, I say data, get data from file, from folder. The same connector exists in Power BI under the get data dropdown. Just going to go here and click open. And here's my list of CSV files. And I'm going to say combine and load to. Now, I cannot load 5 million rows into a sheet in Excel. There's only 1 million and 40 odd thousand rows in Excel. So where do I load this data? Well, I'm actually going to load it into the data model. So add this to the data model. And I've got an example of this, and I'll put a little link to the video about a bit more detail around doing an example of this. But I'm just going to click OK. And off we go. And you'll notice that it's starting to pull in the data. That's 626,000 rows. We're into the millions. The data model is pretty much unlimited in terms of how many rows you can load into it. It's pretty insane that you can now do this sort of analysis in Excel. But to get the data into the data model, you have to use Power Query. So here we go. Here's all the, the data. And if I simply insert a pivot table, it'll say use the workbooks data model. And I click OK. And here's my data. And here's the cost. And if I do it by source file, there's all the files. And if I split it in the columns by code, pretty insane, fully refreshable. So I can just say data refresh. And if there's a new file in that folder, it'll bring it in. Look, I hope that gives you a sense of the Excel side of things. Let me briefly touch on the Power BI side. So here I am in Power BI. Here's the get data button with Excel workbooks, and there's so many more things you can connect to. Um, that's the big difference between Power BI and Excel, really, in this world, is that Power BI has more connectors. Excel will catch up, but Power BI is updated every month with new connectors. There's a massive list under this big get data button. So many different things you can hook into. The thing is, once you hook into something via any of these connectors, the process and the procedures and the clicks are the same. You know, that's what makes Power Query so awesome. So if, for example, I went from Excel Workbook, you know, you've got exactly the same experience that you do in Excel. 
and you can right click and transform and go through all the same sort of steps. In fact, you can even just copy and paste. So if I go into Power Query and I just go into my budget query here and right click this budget table and copy it and go into Power BI, into the transform data button and go over to the left hand side and paste it. You can even copy and paste. There we go, there's all the steps. And I could go close and apply. And now this data is being loaded into my Power BI model. Power Query is everywhere. It's part of data flows, it's part of Power Automate, it's getting and growing and it's just taking over the world. So please learn about Power Query. The actual steps you click on um, generate a little line of code that code is called M. So this formula language is called M, stands for mashup. Uh, not a great thing to search for on the internet, M, to so search for power query formulas. But luckily there's a button to do pretty much everything. Okay, I hope you find that useful. Let me know if you find this sort of thing helpful. Love getting your comments. Please share this with other people to let them know about it if they're just getting started. I've got a full playlist of all the sorts of things you can do with Power Query. Please subscribe to stay up to date and I will catch you later.